hey guys welcome back to drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to disable guest mode inside your google chrome browser so what you want to do if you go ahead and you open up google chrome right you will see if you have multiple profiles that you have a guest mode that you can actually open up right and this is something similar to the incognito once you open it it looks just like this right so you can view or visit any web page and this will not store any of your browsing history or leave any trace or cookies or anything like that all of these will not be saved or tracked right and this is basically what the guest mode does allow you to browse freely without any trace but you can also delete this and i'm going to show you how to go about and delete this so let me go ahead and minimize this right now so on your windows task bar here just right click and simply click and run and here you want to type reg edit right once you type reg edit just simply click enter you have a pop-up that asks you to select yes or no to open up the reg edit and you simply want to click on yes once you do that you'll have the registry editor open up just like this and to better use it you want to let's say close all of those folders so that you can see very clearly yeah. so here guys you want to select the local machine folder drop down here and then you want to go to software then from there you want to click on policies and here you will have a few options you have of Microsoft Adobe Google etc right and you want to ensure that you choose the folder if you don't have Google folder here you can easily create this Google folder by simply right click on policies click on new and then choose key and I'm gonna easily create a simple folder here so let's say I call it Google old right for example and this is how you will create a new folder here under the policies but in my case I already have it already so I will just work from this one and you can always delete that right so yeah under the Google folder here guys you want to ensure that you have a separate folder created by the name of Chrome right and inside this Chrome folder you want to also add a new viewer so let me go ahead and show you what you need to do so once you create these two folder here and you have the Chrome folder created just simply right click and again and then you want to choose new and then you want to do a D word value, right? And here under the D word value, guys, you want to ensure that you create one value with this. And I'm going to simply rename this one by giving it the name here. And the name that you want to give it is simply Bros Guest Mode Enabled, right? And I will put in this within the description of this video. Now, once you do that, guys, all you have to do is just double click, click on that value and ensure that it is set to zero, right? Then once you ensure that this is set to zero, click OK. And then you want to restart your computer and try again. And this should in fact disable the guest mode within Google Chrome for you. In some cases, if the zero value does not work here, you can go ahead and try setting it to one and try again to restart your computer and see if this will disable it but in a nutshell most times the zero is what actually does the trick here and yeah you will definitely be able to disable it and guys if you simply want to remove this at any point in time you no longer want to disable the guest mode all you have to do is just simply come back here again and just simply delete this value from here and it and you would be able to have the guest mode accessible within your browser once more no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time